Hello YouTube, welcome back to Rich Micro Tooling Technologies. Um, it's been a long summer for me, um, work in the shop, work at my normal job, and also golfing season. So, I've been trying to fit in a lot of stuff, 5 pounds of shit, into a 10 pound bag, okay? So, I had work to do in the shop, most of my orders are already complete, so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and just tell you where, where I'm at, where I stand. Um, my brother-in-law introduced me to going to flea markets, garage sales. Never have been a big fan of those. Um, I happen to always feel like you were always buying someone else's junk. I stand corrected. Uh, we went to one flea market, uh, here in western New York, and I, th I made one hell of a purchase. At least I think I made one hell of a purchase. Um... I'm going to pan you over and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Kennedy Toolbox. I believe this is a model 528B or something like that. I, I can't remember now. Uh, 28 inch, I believe it is. Um, by, what's that, 8 inches. And there's 3, 6, Eight drawers, a lid, one key. Nice box. Handles are all good. There's a couple of dings, a couple of little scratches in them. Um, but you know what? I paid forty-five dollars for this box. Kennedy, don't know the manufacturer date, the certificate that normally comes with, or not certificate, but the like serial number and model number and tag, I could not find on, on the box itself, but I just backfilled a couple of things from my other box, boxes, plural, into the drawers, just to give it a little bit of purpose. Um, Toolmaker's clamp, that that thing is like just uh, something you want to put on a keychain. Uh, dividers, some of them are mine, but some of them are not that I just purchased. Uh, drawer for the machinist handbook. Perfect, perfect. Um, I don't know if you can see back over in there, but the smaller drawers. Just backfilled. And $45, not a bad deal at all. Uh, further down below on, on the base, a monkey wrench. Sorry for my arm. 50 cents. Is it in any really good shape? Well, don't have one. So yeah, it's in good shape to me. Tap wrench. I believe this is homemade by the way I look at it. The knurls is a good attempt at knurl. You could still see the center marks in the end. If that was mass produced, I don't believe you'd be seeing those. It's not a stared, it's not a green field. It's handmade. I'll take it. Someone put the time and the effort to make that. I'll include it in my box. One of the other scores I think that I probably feel that I did well with is this vice. The only identifiable thing on this vise, there's no name anywhere, there's no casting marks, I see number one. I am not sure if this is a drill press, oh, there's an F and a 42. Uh, again, I don't know if that is a department, if that is part of the casting, I, I, I don't know. Uh, but I did a little bit of research. I saw some things online. There was no names with it Not a hundred percent sure if this is a mini shaper vise if it's a drill press vise or if it's a mill vise It's got a half inch square uh, Lug on the end for tightening uh, Again, I, I have no idea if anyone out there in YouTube land 
has worked with one of these or can identify it, I would really appreciate if someone could get back with me. Just drop me a line or uh, in the comments. And then there's another vise. I believe this is 100% drill press. That could be wrong. That's what it looks like to me. I don't believe this is homemade. I believe this is uh, a purchase. But it only has travel probably of maybe three quarters of an inch, it looks like to me. Wheel dresser. Again, I didn't purchase it because of this here or anything like that. Um, interesting. Square bolt. But I really purchased it for the spurs. Because so now that I I can put it on my other dresser, I think I paid like fifty cents for this too. I don't know how much the star oils are, but they're definitely more than fifty cents. Okay, YouTube. I just wanted to say thank you for the time that you spend with me and listening to me and possibly watching and getting a couple of ideas. Um, oh, by the way, the vice I paid $15 for. If you can help me out, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, thank you for watching. If I could help you out, great. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. I usually have a a hundred percent um get back on the comments so if you have something that you want to talk about just drop it i'll get back with you i just want to say thanks again from rich micro tooling technologies and make some chips all right folks have a good day please subscribe